What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in this episode, this is gonna be current Braden talking about events that have happened to past Braden. So just bear with me a little bit. This video is gonna be broken up into three main parts. The first part, obviously if you've seen either the intro to this video or you've read the title and thumbnail, this video is about getting the Celica GTS back. Now the Celica has been down for months and months, that's the Bonneville beeping. Celica has been down for months and months due to a transmission rebuild, a rear main seal leak, and new carbon synchros that were, well synchros that were delayed so we ended up getting upgraded carbon racing synchros which are really, really cool for that car. Anyway, the first part of the video you're gonna to see tonight is me and Simon picking the Celica up from trips late at night after we've come home back into town from some events out of town and it's dark and it's this is right at the beginning of December when we pick this car back up so it's gonna be really dark out not a whole lot to see well sorry not a whole lot to see outside of what the light the lights we had for the cameras were showing let's get into that part one all right boys I don't know when this is gonna make it into a vlog but if you watch some other videos like this one then you probably know where we are. Uh, Simon's behind the camera. Simon, say hello. Hello. So, a little unplanned. I got a phone call from Trips that the car was done right before dinner and right before we had to go to practice. So, here we are. It's like 10 o'clock at night. Oh, there it is. I see it's not water. Oh, it's not water. <laughs> Oh, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Let's hear it. Hold on, I gotta find the keys. in the GTS. Now we've got the new synchros have to be broken in for 500 miles or what works out to be about 804 kilometers give or take and then the new clutch I think has to have either 500 kilometers or 500 miles put on it as well so should be good. We got means we got to take it easy for a while. Now follow along with me. That was the first night I had the car back. The part of the video you just watched was the very first night I had the car back. Now the second part of the video that you're gonna watch is the second night I had the Sleeka out. So I'd driven it a little bit between the first night and the second night. Now this second night there's gonna be Cam, Trevor, Jacob's gonna be in there, and Sean shows up right at the end. He slides in there right at the end of the video. But anyway, this second part of the video that you're gonna see is Basically me and the boys taking the Celica out and just putting more brake in kilometers on it. That was the idea for the night. We weren't going to push the car too, too hard. We are going to push the car too, too hard. Just brake it in because we had to get, I believe it was 800 kilometers or 1,000 kilometers of brake in for the clutch and the new synchros. Now for this second part of the video, you're going to see me hop in the Charger with Jacob and Trevor and Cameron are going to drive my Celica because I wanted to get rollers of the Celica from the Charger and I trust the boys to drive my cars. Trevor, Cam, and Sean, I trust them to really drive my cars, especially when it was like something serious like that when I wanted to get proper break-in kilometers on the car. I didn't really want to be bouncing off the rev limiter, like really pushing the car. I wanted to take it relatively easy on the car. Now, the second part of the video is also gonna end rather abruptly, and we can talk about that in a minute, but until then, let's get into the second part of the video. Welcome back to the channel. Nice car, bro. back to the channel boys so tonight is I think it's the second inaugural run since the sleek has been back the sleek has got 180 break-in kilometers on it now it needs 800 but you know patience will run out at some point I'm not in cams charger whose car is in this video I'm in Jacobs charger who you may or may not have seen in previous videos Trevor's in the Celica right now with Cam and who knows what they're talking about. And we're going to get boat gas because we're in a big old boat. Well, that was, uh, that was crazy. Well, that was crazy. So 
little story, this maroon Honda Civic just comes absolutely flying up like eight cars on the road that we were just on. And just about takes out my car, then just about takes out the Charger and then slams on his brakes. Like I was basically full ABS, I don't know. Were you full, did you have to slam on him too or no? No, we didn't. No? Yeah, so, but no, I was right on the brakes and then he's, you know, just usual drunken idiot. How'd you like it, Trevor? Oh, it's nice. Yeah? Shifts better than the last time I drove it. Shifts a lot better. What about you, Cam? How, how was this driving? Loud. Loud? <laughs> you don't say. You don't say. Oh, that hurts. Watch out. 93. In there. Oh, pop the hatch. Pops the hatch. Well, that wasn't terrible. And then this was the car I was driving earlier. It's the same as Cam's Charger, like a Charger RT, so 5.7 liter Hemi, uh, 400 horsepower, eight speed automatic. It's dirty right now, but this one's in destroyer gray, which like is an absolutely <laughs> sinister color on these things. Looks like a battleship, which makes sense because it is a boat. It is an awesome, awesome color. You can kind of get it a little bit in the light there. I love this thing. And between the, that charger and Cam's charger, I really, really want one. It can make an awesome personal and YouTube car. Cam is viciously texting Sean. That's where we're going next. I want to pick up Shawnee boy. Yeah, Jacob, you're real thrilled with the guy on the road, eh? Yeah, I'm real thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this asshole, and all of a sudden, And I saw him slam on the brakes, and he fucking... Oh, I know. He almost, re he, he almost... Well, like, I, don't, I don't know if you saw, but when he came up beside us, he just about took the front corner of the charger off, yep. then just about hit the camera or whatever it was in front of us. Then yeah, slammed well, on his yeah, brakes. Yeah, I thought he was gonna go up. Yeah, I thought he was gonna go up and over the blind hill. All right, Trevor, start it up. Start this thing up. I want to hear it. Are you on empty? No, I was on half a tank. Oh, that's for you, by the way. I've been meaning to give this to you for like a week. I just forgot to give it to you. I'll add it to my collection. We'll put it on your dad. He's a he's a crappy tire. Oh, is he? Okay. All right. Yeah, you, dude, what the fuck? Like, like what the fuck, man? It's the forest, the forest it's a, oh, shut up, you V8 boy. Wow, I love this car. All right, back into the battleship here. That's my car in the background. Dust here we go. Shit. Send it, send it! Oh, wow, I love that car. Like, <laughs> the thunderclap, it's honest to God louder than that car. I, oh, yeah. I've never heard it from the outside. I can't believe how loud that is. Imagine your car. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah it, your I car was, is like, retarded. I was like, what the fuck does mine sound like? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, next summer, we'll show you. We'll show you. <laughs> that must be horrible. <laughs> uh -oh. It's not going to go. Advanced. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And just like that, the video cut off, but shit hit the fan. Now essentially what happened there is, well, Sean, he, as I said, he slid right in at the end of the video. He was only there for, I think, less than a minute of screen time. But anyway, like he basically said, and I'm back, or by the way, I'm here, and then, he was, then the video was done. But basically what happened is right after that last scene, we were just cruising around, chilling out, and in Peterborough, we were coming back up to go through downtown, just heading back up to my house, because you can go through downtown and go up to where I live. 
So I'm coming up, and as I'm coming up through downtown, uh, we got stopped at a red light, I put the car in first, and just, you know, slowly started accelerating. Like, honestly, just chilling, just having a good time, just, like talking, not pushing the car at all. And I pushed clutch in and changed into second gear, and second gear just started to grind, and like it sounded like it had like concrete in the transmission. So I was like, oh, that's not good. I kind of looked at Trevor, or, I think it was Trevor or Cam who was riding with me. They were both in the car, I just don't remember who was in the passenger seat. And I was like, that's not good. So I put it in third, and the sound went away. So I was like, that's not good. So I tried second again, and it went back to concrete noise. So we got caught another red light, and I was like, you guys are hearing that too, right? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we hear it. So the light went green again, and I put it in first, and it was fine. Put it in second, terrible, terrible grinding gear, or grinding sound in second gear, and put it into third. And I was like, okay, let's, let's get this thing off the road. So I quickly took a right and went down across the 100 Street Bridge to a gas station. It's just a gas station just across the bridge with a little bit of a parking lot. And we pull in there, and we're all trying to, like with the car sitting there idling, the car was fine sitting there idling. It was only when it did that second gear thing. So in that moment, we were all kind of stumped. We didn't really know what was going on with it because at that point, I think the car had 300 and, or 270 or 280 kilometers on it from the night before when I picked it up. Like that was from within a 24, 36 hour period, I had only done 280 kilometers, a decent gentle break in. So. We were all kind of stumped as to a transmission shouldn't be failing again after only less than 300 kilometers of driving after you rebuild it, right? So basically what we decided at that point was the night was obviously done in terms of the Celica, so we kind of just gently brought it home because we were only like six or seven kilometers away from my house at that point. Gently brought the Celica home, parked it, and that's where we'll pick up the next video. That's the next day where Cameron and I, we get the Celica loaded up onto a trailer and get it sent back to trips and action drive line to where the car eventually gets fixed, but I can tell you now from a future perspective, we're still a little ways away from the Celica being back to 100%. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Scully Productions. Don't forget to always like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, I really, really appreciate if you're watching and if you've made it this far into the video, and I will see you on the next episode. Oh, also uh, leave a comment down below if um, my upload schedule, or I'm so behind in uploads, it's not even funny. Once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.